biker and Rin, you're gonna be better than most people. It's it's a mental game. You obviously you need to be strong, but it's also all about the mentality. There's just whole other aspects to it besides like cross country. We have to really get sketchy and figure out different sections that aren't actually supposed to be ridden, but we figure out a way to ride them. My name is Max. Um, I shred. I'm Bo Detells. I'm Henrik Brockman. I'm Solomon Fergakis. I'm Haley Randall. My name is Josh Plum. My name is Nick. I'm a junior at Redwood. And i um, part of the uh, Redwood mountain bike team. I am a mountain biker. I've been riding with the Redwood team for three years. I like to mountain bike. I'm a senior on the Redwood mountain bike team. And I'm a mountain biker. I got into mountain biking because my dad was a huge rider and he always took me out when I was younger. He, he didn't really force me to go out. He definitely, he, he wanted me to start biking. We didn't really force it, so he would offer to take me out. I've been racing mountain bikes, cross country mountain bikes for Redwoods team since I was in seventh grade. And I also raced professionally for Bear National team in Team USA. When I was in middle school in the Valley, um, Ryan Lofton, who runs Mount Tam's Bike Camp, was doing a Wednesday after school mountain bike ride. And so me and my friend Isabella Heineman, who's also on the Redwood team, uh, we did that together for years and it was so fun and just took off from there. What really got me into mountain biking was just being able to explore and just be in the mountains, like, and go wherever I wanted to. You don't need a $6,000 bike. You can. <laughs> bring your $800 bike, and then you can just shred. It's all about the mentality. I, I did not start out as a very proficient rider. Uh, my first Redwood ride was a recruitment ride, and I pumped 60 PSI into both of my tires, and I immediately fell off the trail. It, there's definitely a learning curve. When you just start out mountain biking, it's pretty hard to get in shape and learn the skills you need to have fun. But after that first year of training and riding, you enjoy it so much more. season I usually ride with the team on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. So we usually meet up at Ross Commons or Phoenix Lake, divide into groups, and then just go ride and have fun for a couple hours. A normal outing would be going up Tam and doing a bunch of trails, maybe I'd say probably average like 12 miles and 3,000 3, feet of climbing. Normally I would bike in China Camper on Mount Tam. The trails I ride are a lot more difficult than the trails XC riders ride because they're more technical and steep um, and more dangerous. XC riding just stands for cross country riding. Um, XC riding is more on like flat trails and there's a lot of uphill in XC. Um, enduro riding is more steeper trails. I think most people think of mountain biking as more of a downhill sport. There's really just a lot of uphill involved that people can overlook. So personally, I'm not a big fan of the uphills. Um, I usually just go uphill to go downhill. Uh, I just love the rush of going down. It's just, it takes a lot of focus and it's, it's really technical. You have to go down the tiny little uh, chutes and go over rocks and tree trunks, that kind of thing. So it's just really exciting when you're going down. The season usually starts in around October, uh, November and we ride for a couple months with base training and the first race is usually in March and at that point we start to practice less just to 
prepare for the races every weekend or every other weekend. So in high school, you race in the NICA League and Redwoods in the NorCal League. Those races are super laid back and really fun. And it's like a good vibe all around. So it's not quite that competitive and it's like all high school kids and it's fun. I feel like being more laid back factors in because enduro riding is more chill. You can kind of do whatever you want and ride whatever trails you want. But with XC riding, you have to go with the team. The typical races, like our last one, the way they have it is they have all of us line up in a trail kind of the same width as this one. We're all packed together, and after they start, then we, like, over like a couple, I think maybe 100 yards or so, we converge into a single track. I also race. Um on a professional development team and Team USA. And so I've raced in, in Europe and Canada and Puerto Rico and all over really. And it's a, intense and there's a lot of pressure when you're like lining up for world championships. And it's like it's the fastest 40 people in the world and a really challenging course. As I sit on the start line, there's nothing in the world but me and my bike. I enter a zone where everything's okay in the world, and I end up enjoying every moment. Just being out in the mountains is really just my happy place in general, and I wouldn't really want to be anywhere else. When I'm going on a trail, I'm thinking about like where I can really let the brakes off so I can go faster, and how I can just like make myself feel better, like kind of flowing down the trail. Before the race, you have all these nerves. You get really nervous. As soon as the race starts, all of the nerves just kind of disappear. When I'm going down the trail, um, I, I'm pretty much, it's a mix of being excited and really focused and also an additional factor of a little bit scared because you know, you got to challenge yourself. Um, when you're going down, it's a mix of not falling and you have to be really focused in choosing your line to have the most smooth way down. the danger factor of riding is always present. Um, when I was riding at North Star, I took one of the biggest falls I've ever had. Um, I went OTB, which means over the bars, um, right onto a rock garden. And luckily I came out with just a few cuts, but it could have been a lot worse. The first five seconds of my freshman career racing Basically, as soon as they told us to go, I had about maybe five pedal strokes before somebody turned out in front of me and I instantly crashed into this person. I was riding a trail. Um, I was going down following my friend. He went off something. I went off it too and I flipped and like I, instantly I felt my knees like it was so much pain in my knee and I was I was like trying to figure out what happened and I was laying there. I was I was grabbing onto my knee like this, trying to like with my pad trying to hold it steady. But what happened was this bone was stuck in between like the bones of my knee, so it kept on spasming every time I bent it. And so it was like extreme pain. And I um, I got carried out. We went to the hospital and I said I had like a really bad knee injury and I spent that entire summer trying to strengthen my knee. It's a fine balance, it's a fine line between pushing your limits and you know, riding challenging things and then not crashing. That's a big part of riding that people don't understand. It's like actually staying safe and not getting hurt all the time. Because if you're getting hurt, you can't be riding getting better. So just trying to stay safe and ride the best I can. It's important at my level to be strong both on and off the bike, so I have to do a lot of gym work, and which is just isn't that fun, and it's important to keep sight of why I do it and why I want to become faster and stronger on the bike. Living in Marin, um, it's always like known as the place that mountain biking was born, but being a mountain biker, it's actually surprising how little trails there really are to ride in the enduro scene. In Marin especially, there's not that many legal mountain bike trails. Most of the trails are hiking only. It's hard to find trails to ride, um, so you kind of have to find a way around, um, around it. 
if you're a biker in Marin, you're gonna be better than most people who, who live in other counties that have like trails that aren't meant for hikers because the trails in other counties are meant for bikers so we have to really get sketchy and figure out different sections that aren't actually supposed to be ridden but we figure out a way to ride them so biking in Marin is definitely sketchy I'd say. My favorite part of riding isn't actually the racing. It's the long Sunday rides with the team where we get to know each other and have fun for hours on end. There's a lot of camaraderie in the bike team for sure. Like, uh, I mean, we're all just pretty close on the bike team. Like, we all kind of have our groups that we go in. What's great about the Redwood team is everyone works with each other and everyone is very pushing in a good way to get you bigger and stronger. It's different than I say most team sports because you don't directly rely on others, on your teammates for the, your performance, but you do rely on them for, you know, support and and um, your enjoyment at events. It's like you have fun together because you all have a shared passion and common interest. I've definitely made a lot of friends from biking just because we have a lot in common and like to do the same stuff. So it's easy to get along with each other. The whole mountain biking, skiing, that, those kind of sports are just a whole community. The people who mountain bike and ski, they all have stuff in common. They all like the rush. Uh, they all like the action sports. So that it's, it's kind of just easy to find friends who do the same thing as you. You just connect with other people who do the same thing as you pretty easily. I feel like the mountain biking community in Marin is great, uh, and especially the Redwood team. There's a great family there. You really get to know people and build friendships that really last. mountain bike because I enjoy the feeling you get at the top of the mountain and the way you disconnect from everything else in life when you're riding down the hill. My goal for mountain biking in life is basically just to mountain bike for my life until until basically my legs get amputated or something. Whenever I'm racing I'm going for the big prize always trying to win but sometimes in the bigger picture it's not about winning it's about what you learn. Once I finish a ride I feel satisfied and I'm I'm stoked for sure after and I, I don't know I just I just really like doing a bunch of other stuff and then coming home and just chilling. Yeah you're yeah, good. good. Oh, I thought you were filming a video. Oh, should I just be jumping over me while we're doing this? You guys you guys can just like hit the line.